Uh, Daniel Geltru there uh, giving us his perspective uh, on what India needs to do with this budget. Uh, thank you, Dan, for taking time out to be with us here on the broadcast. But with that, uh, we are shifting focus away from the Indian budget to other top international stories where the United Kingdom has intercepted a super tanker that was carrying Iranian oil to Syria. And this has flared up tensions once again between Iran and the West. Here's the latest. Iran summoned the British ambassador in Tehran to complain about what it claims is an illegal move by the British Royal Marines. Iran's foreign ministry said that the seizure of the Panama-flagged ship is, quote-unquote, a form of piracy. It said that the act does not have any legal and international basis and that the tanker must be released immediately. Iran added, and I quote, the move indicates that the United Kingdom follows the hostile policies of the U.S., which is unacceptable for the Iranian nation and government, unquote. U.S. meanwhile welcomed the move by the British forces. White House National Security Advisor John Bolton tweeted, Excellent news. UK has detained the super tanker Grace One, laden with Iranian oil bound for Syria in violation of EU sanctions. America and our allies will continue to prevent regimes in Tehran and Damascus from profiting off this illicit trade. Unquote. This is how it all started. The dramatic seizure of the 330-meter-long tanker happened in Gibraltar. This is a tiny British territory on the southern tip of Spain. Yesterday, British Royal Marines, along with police and customs agents in Gibraltar, stopped the Iranian super tanker. The UK said that carrying Iranian crude oil to Syria is a breach of the European Union sanctions. British Navy boarded the Grace One vessel at Gibraltar, according to the BBC, at least 30 Marines from 42 Commando were flown from the UK to Gibraltar for the operation. The first Marines to board the ship descended by rope from a chopper. The remaining Marines approached the super tanker in speedboats. This drama, in a way, is unprecedented. This is what the Chief Minister of Gibraltar said yesterday. The early hours of this morning, Gibraltar port and law enforcement agencies, assisted by a detachment of Royal Marines, boarded a super tanker carrying crude oil to Syria. We have detained the vessel and its cargo. This action arose from information giving the Gibraltar government reasonable grounds to believe that the vessel, the Grace One, was acting in breach of European Union sanctions against Syria. In fact, we have reason to believe that the Grace One was carrying its shipment of crude oil to the Banyas refinery in Syria. That refinery is the property of an entity that is subject to European Union sanctions against Syria. Sure, Europe has banned oil shipments to Syria. It has been eight years since the ban, but no tanker has ever been seized at sea for carrying oil to Syria. Coming to the question of Iranian sanctions now, it should be noted that Europe, unlike the United States, does not have broad sanctions against Iran. So what really led to this dramatic and unprecedented detention is an interesting question. What's also interesting is Spain's reaction to the entire episode. Spain's acting foreign minister, Josep Borrell, said that uh, action followed a demand from not just the UK, but also the US. Naturalmente estábamos al corriente de esta operación. Las patrulleras de la Guardia Civil han estado securizando la zona, pero estamos estudiando las circunstancias en las que se ha producido, puesto que ha sido una petición que han dirigido los Estados Unidos al Reino Unido, y estamos viendo de qué manera afecta a nuestra soberanía en la medida que se ha producido en unas aguas cuya soberanía entendemos que es de España.